A lot of the time, people will criticize modern physics because they believe that it's all theoretical or useless for real-world applications, but that really couldn't be further from the truth. Physics is the backbone for our modern world, and all great ideas started as just that, an idea. Now let's look at the most famous equation in the world, E equals mc squared. E equals mc squared is actually not the whole equation. The full version is e squared equals m squared c to the fourth plus p squared c squared, which is also equal to gamma squared m squared c to the fourth. If you are at rest though, you have zero momentum and a gamma value of one. So now we have e squared equals m squared c to the fourth. If you take the square root of this, you're left with e equals mc squared, but let's leave the equation like this for now. Physicist Paul Dirac saw e squared and suggested that the negative roots were antimatter. Mathematically, this makes sense because when you take the square root of something, there are positive and negative roots. At the time, though, the idea was waved off, but he was very right, and this idea is at the heart of something called a PET scan. When matter and antimatter collide, they change into light energy. A PET scan works by having a person injected with a slightly radioactive ingredient, normally F18, that is attached to a certain molecule, normally glucose. When this molecule is used in the body, the radioactive ingredient will release a positron. This positron will collide with an electron and produce the light energy that is detected by the surrounding chamber. The light will go in exact opposite directions, and so a straight line can be drawn across that area. When more light energy is detected, more lines can be drawn, and the point where the molecule is being used can be pinpointed. This technology has made measuring brain activity much more successful. Instead of just seeing the structure of our brain, we can see the intricacies of how it functions by studying the parts of it that are stimulated. Imagine it as dropping a marble into a box and hearing a bunch of different sounds. You can guess what's making the sounds or where it is, but you can't ever really know. Now imagine that you can see into the box as the marble falls. You can see where it is at any time, and you can see what parts of, a of it make all the different sounds clearly. Advancements like these would not be possible without modern physics.